Hey guys, so we've got Kyle Volgers back again. So we've done a few tutorials on him before. So for this one, you guys can download the settings for this tutorial, but it will only be available for a certain amount of time, a limited amount of time. So where you will get it is when you come over to his Instagram, come over to his store page. So this is where his presets are, and then the download link for the settings for this tutorial will be in here for you guys. So if we come back to his page, his style is quite cinematic. You can see those greens go really desaturated, and then they go very warm. So he's adding in a lot of warmth, and then there's quite a few blues in the highlights or when it's a bit cooler. So playing with cool tones and warm tones and then overall pretty cinematic look. There's a nice uh, smoothness to the blacks and shadows there. So a bit of a fade to the shadows and blacks and then a bit of a roll off to those highlights definitely for that nice smooth look to the image so we've done a bunch of tutorials on him before go check those out as well and he's also a guest editor inside my course so if you guys want to learn his process he takes you through personally his process of editing inside the course guys along with a bunch of other uh, really talented creators and and yeah we are working with this image so we've got to bring out those rich tones that nice rich contrast and yeah let's get into this tutorial guys uh, so the settings 3.2 most things in focus and then quick shutter speed just to expose it right 35 millimeters low ISO because there's plenty of light let's get into adding a bit of contrast in but not too much because most of it is done with the curves so we'll turn the curves on so I'll just show you what is happening in here so if we just desaturate a lot of these colors because the curves add in a lot of colors when you add in contrast a lot of, a lot of colors will come out let's just roughly bring down a lot of these okay up here so we want to fade to those blacks there so that's up here and this is just a little anchor to keep those blacks nice and dark and then up here get a pop to those highlights and then a good fade to those whites that's so capping off all those whites at the top and as for the color channel so this is a reasonably steep curve so it's going to be adding lots of contrast especially between the blacks and the mid-tones so brightening those mid-tones and then um, pretty big dip into the shadows there so plenty of contrast getting added in and then color channels red and green pretty much exactly the same and then the blue we get a lot of blues taken out here's the only difference so lots of warmth added into the mid-tones and that's all so that's the curves. Now they added in a lot of contrast, but if we just touched up a few things here, down the highlights, up the blacks, overall exposure, dehaze will bring back. It's kind of like adding in contrast. I feel like it has more of an effect in the highlights and shadows rather than the whites and the blacks. Um, we'll bring down clarity, vibrance, has quite a cinematic look so it kind of makes the image a bit duller bit of richness with the saturation uh white balance we don't need to touch Bring out the shadows okay so messing with like the luminance of the colors as well is what we're also going to do which is going to bring out some contrast as well we're not finished with our contrast yet so i might just come down now to luminance and let's just drop the reds so you can see how that brings in a bit of contrast the oranges as well yellows we're gonna pop greens there is no greens in this one so it doesn't really matter blues We'll bring them up just because it looks quite bright back there and also our subject is wearing blue and kind of pops out quite a bit all right so before we do the hue of the colors we'll just come right down we've got to put in a vignette so so down let's just drop this post vignette um, and yeah just keep the feathering nice and high and yeah you good there while we're here we'll just add in a bit of grain let's bring up size okay right coming back up we'll leave profile corrections because we kind of want that vignette right let's work with the split toning now so let's go into the shadows so here and let's do a hue of 225 and let's just 
put in a bit of blue into the shadows seven because we're adding in so much warmth into the mid-tones like this will really help balance it and then if we go to the highlights and we'll put in a nice warm tone in here so let's go that's a good amount of warmth well 35 hue seven so it's just gonna bring in more warmth into highlights uh, nice contrast between the cool and warm tones okay so blending we'll slide right across now balance we are gonna balance our blue and warm tones so we're gonna be using more of our blue tones if we go this way pushing a lot of blues into the mid tones um, balancing out those really warm tones run with that and now for the hue we might be good to play with hue and saturation now so the colors we want to pop the yellows uh, oranges reds down no greens blues decent way down like there's blues up here and his they the quite desaturated Right, so into the hue, this is where we're going to get our final touches to our colors. So let's go oranges, a bit more of a red, and then our yellows, a bit more of a red too. Get that richness, aquas. And then let's get a teal to those blues. Okay, purple, not much in here. Magenta, not much in here either. Uh, and then the reds. So the reds are going to be just like our rich oranges or our deeper oranges. So let's just see, there's not too many. They're sitting more in the shadows. Let's just make them a nice orange. Okay, looking good. Right, so there's this one filter up here. So I've already placed it. And for this, we are going to up the exposure a bit, quite a bit. Um, just to get a nice glow out to the right, we're going to warm it up. And we're gonna bring down the dehaze so that's gonna give that nice glow and then maybe some whites just to make help that pop yeah and we're uh, about done he has changed the distortion of the image most likely in Photoshop but we won't worry about that so what you do in Photoshop is tilt the image you can try to do it in Lightroom so like the vertical as you can see it doesn't look quite right you'd need to do it in photoshop but if we did that kind of makes the background more dramatic and then if you cropped in we might get the exact same almost but you'd want to do that in photoshop probably right final touches let's add some sharpening just because uh we dropped the clarity so much we want to keep it kind of crispy let's bring the masking up hold option so we'll go 50 keeps all the big edges sharp and now let's make the image look real smooth by upping the noise reduction it doesn't need it like iso is like 320 but it just gives a really nice texture to the image a lot of the time so the color there's very often way more color noise than there is actual noise a lot of the time especially in an image like this like you get color noise in bright images so I quite like playing with that and I think we are good and I'll probably just leave it there. I think we could actually go like this. The clarity it adds in a lot of contrast there. Dehaze, more clarity and possibly exposure. That's gonna make the background look way more dramatic. Possibly the entire image needs more clarity. I'm going to leave it about there, but there's definitely dodging and burning going on. So what you might want to do is all of the dark areas, say here or focal points. So maybe this ridge here, around here, up top there, this path here. Let's just do a quick brush all over that. Possibly this bit here the subject all right maybe all those there okay so if I press o you can see where i've affected now if we just add contrast and maybe some clarity and possibly darken darken those areas dodging and burning dodging and burning it there's so much to it you can spend ages on it so it's just darkening the dark areas brightening the bright and selected 
important parts of your image. Um, I might just bring back that clarity right back there. I think it looks better with it or more like his. And then blacks. Maybe right up here, let's up the sharpening. And subject. Brighter. And it's probably because he's cropped the image differently, but we could just do a little darkening of the foreground. Maybe the shadows. Just the highlights to make it look a bit smoother. And yeah, maybe just saturation down a touch. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there guys. Before, after, lots of richness from the strong S curve here and warmth in the midtones, shadows in the uh, cool shadows, warm highlights. And yeah, let's just leave it there. Links to his stuff down in the description. Go get the settings for this tutorial. Limited amount of time though. And as I mentioned, he's a guest editor inside the course. So if you want to get the raw image and follow along step by step his process and a bunch of other awesome creators, sign up to the course guys. There's a free training down below. So that's about it guys. Keep commenting people down in the description who you want to see on this channel. I'll reach out to them, do a tutorial on them. And yeah, that's about it guys. Catch you in the next one.